What's up, YouTube? Big Boss Burns here. Basket Taker. Talk to you about how do you get those dedicated lanes now. I'm going to give you this game. And when I give you this game, you apply yourself to it. Getting a lot of comments in the um, in my um, comment section. Most of all, I try to pick the ones that are more influential, that will help you along with your journey. Cause a lot of y'all worrying about how much I'm getting paid. Got your calculator out, trying to figure out me. Keep your mind on you. I'm trying to help you. Um, the one that I'm seeing frequently is how do you get your dedicated lanes? There's a few things that you got to remember and you got to keep in your mind. I always remember dedicated lanes exist behind every hot shot. Every hot shot where there's, where there's a hot shot there's dedicated lanes. Now, let this make sense. A logistic company cannot be in business unless they have dedicated clients. The dedicated clients basically rely on the logistic companies to do their everyday dedicated work unless they have employees and even when they got employees I'm talking about the logistic companies even if they got employees those employees don't show up all the time something always in life happens so what the logistic company does is call for the hot shot definition of hot shot is somebody didn't show up or we don't have the manpower to get this load out. So what happens is, is that when you are signed into these different logistic companies, they'll call you. They'll call you because Rollo didn't show up or we don't have enough manpower to get this load out. Can you help us get this money? So that's when your service is called. I'll tell you another step. Now, when they call your service, the logistic companies, nine times out of 10, you're delivering for another company that the logistic company got hired to do that they're paying you to do. I'll tell you how to get around that too. So you can basically <clears throat> be tied in with the logistic company doing the delivery. When you do your delivery, people, if you didn't sign that no clause contract, that's a beast. Because that no clause, no competition clause contract basically is saying, we're going to turn you on to the people that turned us on and we want you to sign this waiver saying that you won't backdoor us and go straight to them because if you backdoor us and go straight to them then they won't call us for no more service because now they have created another level of employment within their system nine times out of ten when a company calls a logistic company for a hot shot the hot shot is higher than what the employment is actually doing it for. Example, I might have a load going from going 40 miles. Those 40 miles may be delivering um, one load. The load is going to pay hypothetically $2.50 roughly a mile. Okay, so that mileage rate is given to you by the logistic company 
not the actual company that hired the logistic company. The logistic company is paying $2.50 a mile. The actual distributor is paying $12 a mile. What? Are you serious? Man, I'm going to the plug. You're gonna be a slave. Be a paid slave. Yes, sir, boss. So how the logistic company makes their money is that they got to figure out what the company that's hiring them is paying them. Okay, so let's say for instance, the company that's hiring the logistic company is paying them 100%. Now, they cannot ask the logistic company, turn it over to you for 100%. They got to turn it over to you for at least 60% and they make the 40. Y'all get that? So what's gonna happen is the main company is getting their product delivered. The logistic company is making their money and you are doing delivery, doing the delivery, making your money. Now, this is a cycle that continues. So you ask, how do you get the dedicated lanes? I'm gonna tell you that. So let's keep in mind, the company that hires the logistic company, they're paying 100% to the logistic company. The logistic company is going to pay 60% maybe to you. And you are going to deliver the product. The logistic company is gonna pay you the company that hired the logistic company is going to pay them because everybody needs everybody. Well, what do you mean by that? I need the logistic company, at least I think. The logistic company needs me, at least they think. But the logistic company also too needs the person that needs the delivery. The person that needs the delivery needs both of us. Now watch this. Don't you know if that person that's doing the delivery that's paying the logistic company, don't you know he'd rather jump over the logistic company and pay you? So that 100% that the logistic company can get, is getting, you can actually get that by cutting the logistic company out. If I'm gonna get paid and be a slave, let me be a paid slave. Oh, here I come, boss. Yes, sir. <laughs> the logistic company is stepping on it. They're stepping on it. In order for them to stay alive, they got to step on what the delivery company is giving them before they can give it to you. <laughs> the best companies to learn the step on game is the logistic companies. I learned how to step on stuff from the logistic company. They taught me how to step on something. They taught me how to take the plug. They taught me how to muscle myself in and get this money. Move the middleman out the way. If you didn't sign the no clause, no compete clause. These delivery companies are actually trying to save and make more money, but who's getting majority of the money is the deal that they're making with the logistic company. So what you got to do is that you got to become the logistic company or the employer to the one that's paying them to deliver. Make it make sense, y'all. The man that's in the way is the man that's in the middle. Let's make it make sense. Get rid of the man in the middle. It's the way to do it, I'ma tell you. Every logistic company that's open that exists, that's alive, is getting it from the company that needs them. Their existence is only from the companies that need STEM. Y'all understanding? If the company didn't need them, they wouldn't need you. Okay, so what are we saying? 
when you go to a logistic company and they're not hiring, they don't need any help. That's a logistic company that basically don't have the contracts that they need to keep on pushing out the product. So what you got to do is, whenever a logistic company calls you for a hot shot, read the label. Hold on, excuse me y'all, hold on. Fort Worth, Texas, 7611. Gateway Freeway. Viset. Gotcha. <laughs> Read the box. Go in and talk to the people that you're delivering from because they're actually turning you over to their plug. But what they're actually doing, they don't think you're smart enough to open your mouth up and talk to the plug. And brothers and sisters, the plug will talk to you because a lot of the plugs are sick and tired of the delivery companies. And well, a lot of the plugs are sick and tired of the logistic companies because they're having problems with the logistic companies. Some of the problems is the logistic companies employees are not showing up like they should. Why? Because they're not keeping constant work to the employees. So the employees are going off finding other work other places for somebody that's strong that can keep them operating on a day-to-day -day basis. But what the logistic company is not telling you that if you tied in with the plug, you don't need us. So they smart middlemen, the brilliant middlemen, because they have learned how to get the product and dispense it as somebody else's on somebody else's effort. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But they're going to pay you 60, 40, 30, and some of y'all 10% when they're getting majority of the money and you're taking on all the risks. So it's one of them games where you got to be smart now. You got to figure out, why should I let the logistic company pay me when I can go directly to the distributor? Okay, for my street guys, Remember, for my street guys, remember when you was getting the work? You was getting the work from somebody that was getting the work from somebody else. So, you was getting the work and the price you was getting was totally different from the price that the person that was getting the work from somebody else was getting. Mmm, what do you mean? They might be getting the work for... X amount of dollars. When they get it and they give it to you, they put their, they step on it and put their price on it. So when you went straight to the plug, you were shocked. I didn't know he was getting it for that. He was selling it to me for this. Same way with the logistic companies and the distributors. When you go straight in to the distributors, you will find out that their prices is way greater than what the hotshot or the logistic company is paying you. Example, if they paid me $700 to travel 40 miles, drop off some, pick up something, drop off something. Question is, how much do you think that they're actually getting? I delivered a load. It was a big generator. Generator way, I, I don't know. I told them, I said, yeah, I can come and get it. I can send a guy over there to get it. We went over there and got the generator. He said, well, how much you charge? We're gonna charge you $1,100 to take this down the street and drop it off. They said, okay, great. After I got there and saw how big the generator was and the load was, and I said $1,100, and I took it and I dropped it off, no problem. In the back of my mind, I said, I wonder how much they got just for me to do that. They had to get more 
or they were glad that I did it and got something off the effort of me and my truck. So make it make sense, y'all. There's a dedicated lane behind every hot shot. You got to go in and talk. That talk with them folks. Reminisce with them folks like you're talking to a young lady or a young lady like you're talking to a guy. And courtship and cope with these people and see exactly what they got going on. Because guess what? They need you. And something going on every day. I'm talking about my trucks ain't moved, ain't got to move in a month. And as soon as I start it up, somebody's calling or there's some work guaranteed for that truck. Because I know behind every hot shot is a dedicated lane. Now, what I don't want to do is that I got enough trucks to do dedicated lanes but I keep a few trucks available because we don't want to be tied in with dedicated because you could be on a lane that's dedicated paying you $2,500 a week. A hot shot can come up and pay you $3,300 just for that one day. So now you got to decipher with one truck. Do I do the hot shot or do I stay with the dedicated lane? And they're going to pay me every week. I'm doing the hot shot. I'm going to call in sick. Because if I'm making 2500 a week and I can make 33 in one day. Come on, people. Make it make sense, man. So I walk into logistic companies with confidence. I go to logistic companies like a boss. Because I know the plug. So that's the reason why I'm able to not bargain, but tell them what I want. And if not, I'll go straight to the plug and get what I want and what you was going to get. So keep in mind behind every hot shot, there is a dedicated lane. Now, a lot of y'all saying we have a hard time trying to find dedicated lanes and how do you find your dedicated lane? And I, 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 I've had my truck for several months and I, I don't, I, I, it's hard to find work. No, 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 no. Cause that's in your mind. You can't play chess unless you know the rules. You can't play checkers unless somebody tell you how to play. But watch out for the folks that's telling you how to play because folks that tell you how to play don't tell you how to beat them. Who tells you how to beat them? It's so much work in this game. I can tell you the rules and the regulation of this game. Hit that like, subscribe, and comment button. I need y'all to uh, 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 hit that notification too. I can tell you how, because it's too much. I took a month off of vacation. I'm tired. It's too much work. So you got to know the rules. But nobody's going to tell you the rules unless you get up under them. You got to become like a thief in the night. You got to get up under them. You got to make them like you. You got to show them your work qualities. And before you know it, they're going to begin to whisper to you the secret. Hey, Cody, come in here. I got something to tell you. Do you want this uh, dedicated route? Sure. But what they don't know, that when you give me that dedicated route, I'm going to take that from you. <laughs> Y'all stop playing with me. <laughs> Behind every hot shot, there's a dedicated lane. Try it. Walk into a logistic company that would trust and hire you. Don't sign the no-compete clause. 
when you start showing up every day to make that delivery from the company that's hiring them, they're going to get used to you. And there's always somebody in every company that's willing to tell you the secret. It's a secret. Don't get paid. Big Boss Burns here, y'all. I'm out of here. <laughs>